Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. You can see I've got some fresh drumsticks. These are from my church. Somebody auctioned it and we bought it. So these are very fresh green ones. This is the fruit of the Moringa plant. This is called drumsticks. In India, it is a delicacy, especially in the south of India. They cook it in different ways. So today I am going to make a dish which is very famous in Tamil Nadu state, which is in the south of India. This is called Murungakka Poriyal. So you need to clean the Murungakka by lightly scraping the outer skin. Don't remove the green part, just the brownish part wherever it is. Then wash it nicely. Then cut it into pieces about 2 inches long. And then we add some masalas and some onion and tomatoes and saute it till it is cooked. So we'll see that dish now. I'm going to scrape it first before washing. You can see the drumstick. It's very fresh. You can see the brownish color. Sometimes it is like that. Just scrape it and remove it like this. Don't scrape very hard. The green color will go. Just very lightly you need to scrape it. So I am going to scrape all of the drumstick and wash it. You can see I have washed the drumsticks. I have also cut some onion and tomatoes, finely chopped. I'm going to cut this into about two inches pieces. I also have a wok ready with two tablespoon of oil, sesame oil. Because for this dish, the sesame oil is the best. That is the uh, regular medium of cooking in South India. We need to do some seasoning and then saute the onions. The oil is heated. I'm adding some mustard seeds for seasoning. When the mustard seeds start to crackle, I'm adding some black gram seeds. That is also for seasoning. I'm adding some curry leaves. I 
and I'm adding the chopped onions. I have taken two big size onions. This dish requires lots of onion because that that will make the gravy for this dish. So we need lots of onion. So the onions have to be nicely sauteed. Still it is nicely mashed and becomes translucent. So while this is going on, I'll cut the drumsticks. Need to cut off the ends, both the ends, and I'm going to have this almost one and a half inches. So two inches becomes very long. This is the correct size. So while cutting this, you may get some strings like this. You need to remove those. like this it comes out like this so i'm going to quickly cut it into pieces you can see like this Drumstick is cooked in very different ways. Some people just cook it like this, steam it and take the pulp and make some delicious cuisines. So in various states of India, it is cooked in different styles. I'm going to cook uh, I'm going to cut all the drumsticks then I'll show it to you you can see I have cut all the drumsticks and this is the waste you can see all the strings are removed now I just wanted to tell one thing, those who don't know about this drumstick. I just want to tell one thing, this has got a hard crust over it, green color, sometimes brownish in color and inside you have the seeds and the pulp. So after cooking we eat the seed and the pulp and we nicely chew this, the hard crust and then throw it away, spit it out. We cannot swallow the hard crust. So it's like that. So this dumpstrick is rich in vitamin C and is an antioxidant. It enhances a good bone growth. It has got calcium and iron. It purifies the blood. It regulates the blood sugar, controls blood pressure and it is very good for common cold, flu 
and it produces the symptoms of all the diseases related to the lungs like asthma, wheezing, cough, pneumonia and all. It's very good, very healthy fruit or vegetable. So as I told you, you just need to eat the pulp and the seed once it is cooked and nicely chew it once it becomes juicy with all the masalas and other ingredients it is very tasty you can chew it nicely and then spit it out You can see the onion is almost done. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of coconut oil. This is also a medium of cooking it's in the south of India and my husband likes it with this oil so I'm adding it a little. This gives the dish a nice flavor and a taste. Cooking in coconut oil is very tasty and healthy. Now I am going to add the drumstick pieces because it needs a lot of time to cook as it is very hard outside. So I am going to add this first before the tomatoes. Saute it a little and then add the tomatoes. I just added some salt for the onion to cook so I am adding a little more now for the vegetable adding one teaspoon of turmeric powder two teaspoon of red chili powder or cayenne half a teaspoon, teaspoon of red chili powder Kashmiri red chili powder this is for the color and about one teaspoon of coriander powder a pinch of asafoetida This we add in all the vegetables and all the lentils when it is cooked. It helps to relieve all the gases and aids for digestion. So I'm not adding any water. I'll just close the lid and allow it to cook for some time. Maybe it will take 15 minutes. I kept it on a low flame. And 
let it cook for some time. You can see that it is getting cooked, almost halfway cooked. So now I am going to add the tomatoes. These are five medium sized tomatoes finely chopped. I am going to add this. Let it cook with this drumstick. The onion and tomatoes are the only ones that give the gravy to this dish. It's not very dry or very liquid. This is going to be a semi solid dish. So I'm going to let it cook again. maybe for 10 minutes. You can see the liquid because of the tomatoes. So that's why I didn't add water. So it still needs some cooking, some more cooking. So in between you just have to mix it a little every 10 to 15 minutes just mix it and let it cook I have tested for the salt and the uh, chili spice everything is correct so I am just letting it to cook again You can see it has got the liquid till it has to cook. I want it a little bit dry. If you want it like this, like a gravy, you can take it out in this stage. But I would like to have it a little bit drier. And once the liquid is gone, you need to saute a little to get the taste, real taste. So let it cook for some more time. While it is cooking, I just wanted to show you something. This is the outcome after it is cooked nicely. So I will tell you how we eat it. You just split it. You can see the seed inside and the pulp and just put it in between your teeth and just pull it. This is how it looks after it is eaten. You can see, you can chew it some more if you want. And this you need to throw it. Don't eat this. This is very hard. You cannot eat this or you cannot digest this. So this has to be thrown away. So this is how this drumstick is eaten.
here is the cooked moringa or the drumstick i'll tell you how to eat this we just open like this you can see you need to open it like this and eat this pulp you will have the seeds you just need to eat this pulp you can see inside the pulp is there just put it in between your teeth and just pull it that way this is to be eaten after this is eaten this is how it looks if it's nice and juicy you can chew this also but you should not eat it you should spit it later after you have chewed it so that is how we eat this um drumstick you can see this is one of the seeds this is for those who don't know how to eat this i hope you got it now this uh, drumstick also is called as moringa moringa plant in english so hope you like my video you can share it with your friends and all those who haven't eaten this drumstick before can try this it's very healthy and tasty too thank you for watching my video please do share and subscribe bye